Do all of your Sims look the same? <clears throat> the Sims 4 lacks customization. <clears throat> now you might be saying, Allie, what do you mean? In the Sims 4, we can literally drag the nose and the lips and anything else we want to at the click of the button. Well, that's the problem. You see, the longer that we play the game, the more it is likely that we're going to choose literally the same things over and over again. Okay, I'm looking at you, freaking pouty lips. All of these EA noses are literally quote unquote normal noses okay this is what my nose looks like okay it is not <laughs> let's just say it's not up to society standards which f that but so baby girls guys and days okay <laughs> hello dag dag the first step to making your sims less boring ready <laughs> ready custom content now honey i'm gonna need you to get skins eyes miscellaneous skin details sliders preset tattoos i'm just gonna need you to download all this shit okay just spend i don't know maybe like uh 10 hours on maxis match cc world you know like i do every waking moment but anyways enough of that shit they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never understand so here we have miss laura post basic looking girl right i mean she has the pouty lips like i said before the small ass nose i mean how can you breathe out of that i'm just saying i'm just saying basic brown eyes which i have brown eyes okay so don't come for me um and just kind of like the basic b look and it's okay to look like this it's okay okay for your sims to look like this but i know we all have a problem with making the same looking sim over and over so <coughs> excuse me let's go and see what we can do with our brand new cc shut up she was being too loud i'm sorry but let's go ahead and just uh strip her naked um with consent of course uh, i don't know your name but do you consent? So once I take off these clothes and accessories, let's go to body and bodies. And then I did get a few new presets. So here are EA's presets, nothing too special. They all pretty much kind of like look the same except some of them, but like there's not enough. There really isn't enough body presets for plus size individuals, which really, really sucks. But <gasps> oh my god even just a literally a simple preset like this just changes the whole game and you know not everybody has snatched waist okay including me so you could bring the waist out or you can bring the waist in because not everybody not every sim should look like this i mean we have this one and i got this one with like kind of i think there's hip dips i'm not sure um this one that one this one they all just add so freaking much which her butt holy cow i can't i can't even make the butt smaller i love it all right so i think we're gonna leave her at this so let's go to the face um i don't have any eye presets in my game but you can definitely download some um but i just prefer not to but let's just do these eyes um, and we'll like kind of like fix them and tune them later. But I do have a few presets from Evoxer and Divine Cap. Um, so let's do like, oh my God, this one, because you can see there's like a little bit of a bridge right here, which literally looks exactly like my nose. How awesome is it to have like that kind of representation um, of me literally being a turtle? Like I, I look like a turtle, but it's that's fine. Bitch, I love turtles. It's okay. Save them. Save the turtle okay and i have a few lip presets too just two um by also by divine cap but uh, like i was saying earlier just simple things like presets can literally change the game so much so i'm gonna put her in uh this skin detail this is one of my favorites it's called ringo i believe or it's by ringo i'm not sure oh my god and look at these fuzzy brows stop the realism i swear my brows be looking like caterpillars i i'm, I'm serious did you guys know i shaved half of my eyebrows off in seventh grade <laughs> she is already looking so gorgeous but um yeah that happened so don't always stick to like the same noses like small if you do small all the time kind of do like bigger noses um oh, i just love the bump on her nose and also do kind of look into some masks so i do have a nose mask right here and as you can see it really like makes the nose look uh, pretty unique in my opinion if you do small eyes all the time maybe make them a little bit bigger 
um, kind of like that. And then you can do like slanted and maybe more out to the side and a little bit bigger. Like she just looks so unique. I love it. Um, maybe like make the ears bigger. I love doing bigger ears. Um, okay, so let's go to skin details again. I did download some cellulite, um, which I love. Very, very real realistic. Um, and there's a bunch of different swatches that you can do. I'm pretty sure I also got like vitiligo or something. Yes, or like a birthmark. Um, we all have birthmarks. Oh my gosh, where, <laughs> where did they go? Where are the birthmarks? Oh, okay. Oh, sweet. There's some on the face. Okay, that's awesome. Um, what about this? Okay, this is kind of like a lip mask. So similar to the nose mask. Let's give her a little smile. She is so cute. And maybe like we can do small upper lip, large bottom lip. That's pretty unique. She is looking so good. Maybe some, some cheeks. Um, and then just fix your sims up however you want. But presets definitely change the game in terms of uniqueness. Like she's already looking so um gorgeous i love this hair it just came out it's by sims trouble so i think i'm gonna put her in that as for makeup switch it up a little bit i usually like doing eyeliner but you can do like different colors oh my god the blue so freaking sick what about red that is so cool i think we're just gonna go with the basic black um i'll put some blush on her some darker blush and honestly, I already like her lips the way they are. I, th I think it's because of uh, the lip mask, but they look absolutely gorgeous. As for clothes, don't always put on like super cute stuff because, it, okay, if we're being realistic here, <laughs> a lot of us simmers are wearing like sweatpants and uh, hoodies and t-shirts. When I'm not on face cam, I literally look like a rat. So yeah, like I said, instead of doing something cute, like a cute sweater or something, do something realistic so in my opinion realism to me is like a black hoodie <laughs> okay um some joggers or ripped jeans and then like some sneakers these should do just fine yep <laughs> so i don't know something about like the realistic look just i don't know it brings that realistic vibe that unique vibe you know because okay let's look at laura for example super pretty sim she is super cute but okay i don't i don't wear this every day maybe the ripped jeans but i don't wear like tops like this and boots and stuff but this is just kind of like a regular everyday outfit and she is working the heck out of it but that is it for this video you guys so don't forget my instructions go on maxis match cc world for 10 hours nah i'm just kidding just buy not buy oh my god just get um a ton of body presets a ton of facial presets and skin details because it really does make a difference um and another point i did want to make which i already did but um just don't do what you always do so like i said if you make small eyes make them larger small noses make them larger um if you make big mouths make them smaller etc etc you know what i'm saying but yeah guys this is in my opinion how to make um more unique sims and kind of get out of that rut of making the same sim over and over if you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave it a like and as always subscribe to my channel for more videos like this love y'all bye